Hello, and welcome to this week's story, The Kitty Cat's Cushion. In your world, things are important. But what about the things that aren't important anymore? Well, sometimes those things end up here, in the magical land of Dilstonia, where little creatures called the Jifflings live on their little Jiffling ship. They find these things that we throw away and fish them out of their sea so they can recycle them and put them to good use once again. And here they are now, ready to work. Eccentric young pumpkin. Ooh, I'm ever so excited. The hedge, who is a very lazy jiffling. Like, hey man, is it time for bed yet? Miss Katie, who loves fixing things and dressy up. Sometimes I like both together. Albert, the ship's gardener. Hop, hop, bay! Who's been in a me cabbage patch like? And Friedeline, a very sensible jiffling who looks after everybody on the ship. Yeah, that is correct. Oh. Today on the ship, the jifflings are having a most imaginative day for they are building their very own adventure play park out of leftover pieces of driftwood and other odds and ends. Young Pumpkin and Miss Katie were the first to emerge from the sea cupboard, which is a cupboard on their ship, so big and magical that it holds all the treasures the Jifflings find. We found an old suitcase, a plank of wood... And two old bicycle seats. Oh! And what will you be making, Jiffs? Woo! We're turning these old objects into a lot of fun tippy-toppy seesaw. Well, that sounds like lots of fun for everyone. Yeah, even for the hedge. All he has to do is sit on it. Huh. Like, not today, Friedeline man. I have the perfect seat right here. Friedeline Pumpkin and Miss Katie looked over and there was Hedge, lazing back in his very own spectators area. I'll just, like, watch the fun from over here, man. But watching's not a very good adventure, Hedge. And our play park is designed for adventures. But the Hedge just lays back even further, not interested in joining in at all. Then, before the other GIFs could protest, they heard Albert calling out. Hey. So they jiffled over to see what he was building. Roll up! Roll up! That's right! I, I've built us a Jifflin's coconut shy! Oh. And indeed he had. Albert had taken some lovely ripe coconuts from his garden and sat them on top of some old candle holders. And we can throw these old avocado stones right at them coconuts to try and knock them down. So Friedeline picked up the first stone eagerly. Ah, oh, stand back. I have the exceptionally strong Jiffling's arm. And the precise aim. Oh. Then Friedeline cocked back her arm and whoosh! Oh. She sent the little stone flying towards the coconut at top speed, knocking it right off its perch. Yay! Yay! Oh, what a fantastic shot, Friedeline. Yeah, it is I who is doing the winning. Huh. So Albert picked up the coconut and popped it back on the old candle holder, ready for the next gif to try. Well, maybe you would like a go, Hedge, said Albert, holding out the little stone. But Hedge didn't seem interested. Like, no thanks, Alberto man. Today, I'm like doing nothing. Hmm. Well, it is important to relax sometimes, Hedge. But you will have a lot more fun joining in. And you can always do nothing later instead. Oh, Jiff, better stop for now, as that sound means an object which was lost or thrown away on Earth has got caught in your net. So you all need to work as a team to heave it in. Mm. Uh -oh. yeah. 
Okay. The object landed on deck with a Jiminy Cricket. It was round and springy and soft. Well, I think that's a fisherman's hat that he wears out on the river. But then Miss Katie stepped forwards, for she knew just what the object was. She skippity pickled up onto the story seat and then she began her tale. This is the kitty cat's cushion and my old hammer instructor, Tippy Tap Tuppence, told me all about it. Once upon a time, in a very big mansion, there lived two very well-loved and pampered kitty cats called Meredith and Olivia. No, no. Now Meredith was very bold yeah. and loved to go on exciting adventures yeah. all around the garden, hey. meeting the other neighbourhood cats yeah. and having a wonderful time. Hi, I'm Meredith, the catchy wall adorer and super duper awesome like adventures and more. I stretch and I climb and I never ever whine because Meredith, the kitty, has the best cat time. Yay! And Meredith would play and explore and leap around having the best cat time. But no matter how hard she tried to persuade her little kitty friend Olivia to join her, Olivia just wouldn't. My name is Olivia. I don't go anywhere. I just sit about in my super soft fur, sleep, eat, washy, lick and have a little purr. And Olivia would laze back on her favourite comfy kitty cat cushion, watching her friend Meredith running around the garden, having fun, while she just sat there doing nothing. Then, one evening, after all the lights had said good night and everything was still, Meredith crept over to Olivia's cushion excitedly. Meow, Olivia! Do you know what tonight is? Tonight it's our turn to host the super secret nighttime kitty cat's ball. We'll have the best time ever. You all join in, won't you? Meow! Maybe later, Meredith. Oh, I think I'll just stay on my cushion for now. Meow! But if you just sit about, you'll miss out on all the fun, Olivia. But Olivia refused to budge from her cushion. <laughs> well, while Meredith really wanted Olivia to come, she also didn't want to miss the ball. So she went out into the garden, <laughs> where all the other cats and kitties had gathered. <laughs> And she struck up the music proudly. Yeah. Let's P U R T Y. Yay! So, Meredith yeah. and all the ginger toms yeah. and fluffy tabbies yeah. and happy tortoiseshell kitties at the ball yeah. swung their tails yeah. and danced happily, yeah. getting their boogie yeah. right on, whilst Olivia sat all by herself on her cushion, just watching. Then, as Olivia watched the other cats having such a great time, she began to notice that actually she felt a little bit lonely. And then she started to think that the music did sound rather good. And the dancing did look like lots of fun too. And then Olivia started to feel a rather funny sensation in her paws. Oh, meow! What's this happening? It seems my toes are tapping. And suddenly, Olivia leapt off her cushion for the first time in forever and she began dancing like crazy, bouncing all over the place and having the best cat time ever. Like, yay, Olivia! I'm so super happy you joined in. Oh, me too, Meredith! Meow! Well, from then on, Olivia decided that she wanted to have the best cat time all the time. Mm. And so gradually, she forgot all about her comfy cushion. Mm. Because now, Olivia realised she would have much more fun joining in too. And now, the kitty cat's cushion is here. So we need to reuse it. Yes, Pumpkin, you do. Who has an idea today? Oh, it could be the oven mitt for taking the hot pie 
Christmas from the oven. But then Hedge stepped forward, for he had another idea. Although he did like the pie idea too. Like... If I take this old skipping rope and tie it to the cushion, I can turn it into a sledge and we can pull each other around the ship. And that way I can join in and have fun too. Oh, I cannot wait to enjoy the hedge sledge. <laughs> Totally, man. So that's just what Hedge did. Friedelein had the first go, sitting down on the comfy cushion oh. whilst Hedge tied the skipping rope around his waist and galloped around the deck. Yeah. <laughs> so all the gifs had a go on the seesaw Yay. and the coconut shy too. Yay. And after such a fun day in their adventure play park, they found they were rather tired. So they yawned, washed their little paws, and then it was time for bed. Good night, young pumpkin. Good night. Good night, Albert. Why, I'll see you in the morning, like. Good night, Friedeline. And it is a good night. Yeah. Good night, Miss Katie. Night, night. Good night, Hedge. Hedge? <sighs> Oh, I think the head is asleep already. And goodbye to you, wherever you are. Maybe next time you see a thing that you might throw away, you'll stop and see if you can use it again, just like our friends the Jifflings. And maybe the thing you use again will have a story to tell too. Goodbye. Thank you for listening to Bottle Ship. For all the parents listening, if you'd like to, you can donate to the show at patreon.com forward slash bottle ship. And as a thank you, we'll send your child a personalised audio message from the Jifflings. And for all the children listening, if you enjoyed the show, please leave a review and share the podcast with your friends. We've had some lovely reviews this week, haven't we, Jifflings? Totally, man. Like this one from America. It says, Hi, my name is Brody, and I'm from Massachusetts, USA. And my favorite story is the Sheriff's Badge. My favorite jiffling is the Hedge. Thank you for the great story. I listen to them when I fall asleep. Thank you from Brody. Ah, oh, thank you, Brody. That is the excellent review. Yeah, that's right. And we've had this review too. It says, My name is Molly B. I'm five years old and I'm from America. Your show is very creative. It would be cool if there was an episode about a unicorn and a race car. Young Pumpkin and Miss Katie are my favourites because Miss Katie likes to dress up and fix stuff, just like me. And Young Pumpkin, because he's silly. Woo! Hiya, Molly B. Thank you so much for writing to us. That. A lovely review. Yes, it is. And we've had this review too, from England. It says, To the Jifflings, My name is Seren, I am eight, and my sister is called Emily. She is three. We live in Dorset, in England. We love your stories. My favourite character is Miss Katie, and my sister's favourite is Young Pumpkin. My daddy likes Hedge as he's very sleepy. We listen to your podcast in the car and our favourite story is the octopus's suitcase. We think it would be great if you found an artist's paintbrush or a magic necklace. Goodbye. Ooh, thank you, Saren and Emily. That's a perfect review.
And thank you to everyone who left us a review or sent us an email. We really do love to hear from everyone. Yes, we do, Friedeline. So please remember to leave us a review wherever you listen to podcasts. And if you'd like to send us an email, please send it to thegiflings at gmail.com. Thanks again, and we'll bring you more exciting adventures with our friends the Jifflings very soon. Goodbye.